Hey, I'm Rachel Ngome. I am a wife, a mom, an author, a social media strategist, and I'm super pumped to talk to you about my blog content planner and show you how I've been able to create content that has been shared thousands and thousands of times, how I've been able to build my email list, get people to sign up daily, um, and sell my content, sell my courses, sell my eBooks every freaking day because of the content that I've created. So I just want to give you a couple of examples of um, some of the content that has been shared. So first here is a blog post that I did about intermittent fasting that's been shared over a thousand times. Um, and another example is, um, another blog post that has been shared almost 17,000 times. And so both of these blog posts are getting people on my email list. I'm selling my ebook and getting people in my free community every single day. Um, and so much of it has to do with my blog content planner and planning out awesome content with the right keywords, with the right strategy. And I'm going to share with you just a couple of things that I do to help you get started creating awesome content that gets shared start by coming up with some ideas of what we're going to blog about. So what I do is I ask my audience questions and I ask them what they struggle with and I ask them what they're working on, how they need help. And so I'm posting on social media questions on, you know, what they're struggling with right now. And Anytime someone, you know, subscribes to my email list, I'm sending them my first follow-up email is introducing myself and asking them, like, what's your biggest struggle? What are you working on right now? How can I help you? Same thing with someone asked to join my entrepreneur community on Facebook. I'm asking them questions. And so anytime someone responds, I'm writing down what they tell me. And so that's content right there, right? So ask questions. Next thing I do is come up with possible blog topics. And so using those questions and come up with just a massive brainstorm of at least 20 to 40 different topics that you want to cover. So what do you want to talk about, teach about, share about? What questions do you get about your product or your industry on a regular basis? What results or outcomes is your ideal client trying to achieve? And how can you help your ideal client get where she wants to go? What's keeping your ideal client up at night as it relates to your product or industry? What is your ideal client struggling with that you could help solve? And what is your ideal client confused about? So do just a massive brain dump of possible blog topics. So I do a ton of um, keyword research that really helps to make sure that you're writing the right kind of content with the right kind of headlines and the right keywords and with the right number of searches so your stuff actually gets seen. Um, I'm not going to go into all of that in this video. That's more of something I'm covering in my Creating Killer Content course, but I will show you a couple of different resources that I use to come up with headlines. So this is the Advanced Marketing Institute. And what this does is it actually can help you come up with a headline that has a high emotional marketing value. And so that basically means that it it has a headline with um, a headline that's going to get clicked on. So we're going to come up with a really awesome headline for our blog post. And so here's an example of my keyword, intermittent fasting for women. Let's see if I were just to do a blog post with the title intermittent fasting for women, zero. <laughs> the click through rate would probably not be very high, but if I keep playing around in here and I keep trying different titles with different words, I'm going to try three strategies to help you get started with intermittent fasting for women. Look at that. 33%. Anything over 30% is going to be good. Um, so that right there, I, that would be my new headline. So I would just copy this. And I would put it, so we're doing the keyword research, I would put it there as a possible headline. And then here is the blog schedule. So you got to plan out your content. You got to make sure you're creating content on a regular basis. Maybe that's, you know, once a week, twice a week, whatever works well for you that you know you can be consistent with and stick with it. So write down the date that you're going to do your next blog post, write down that blog title, 
write down that main keyword that you came up with from your keyword research and the related keywords. If you're using research in your blog post, make sure you have that there and your call to action. So what do you want people to do when they read your blog post? Do you want them to read the blog post and then disappear back off into the internet? Or do you want them to become an email subscriber, sign up for your email list, right? And then what notes do you have? So this is pretty much um, the basics of my system that helps me write that content that gets shared thousands of times and gets people to actually take action. So if you want to get this actual copy plus you know more in depth of the keyword strategy and everything, make sure to check out my course Creating Killer Content below. And I hope that this was helpful. Now go create content that's gonna get shared. Bye.